From the moment we could first imagine it, the world of dinosaurs has captivated us all. These magnificent creatures, some vast beyond our wildest dreams, others swift and deadly as any predator alive today, once ruled our planet. But how much do we really know about their lives, their struggles, and their incredible adaptations? Join me now as we journey back in time to uncover six jaw-dropping facts about dinosaurs that will redefine your understanding of these prehistoric wonders. Get ready to have your mind blown, to have your... Ah, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. A creature that needs no introduction, its reputation as king of the tyrant lizards precedes it. But even in the face of such fame, there are secrets yet to be uncovered. We all know about those bone-crushing jaws, but did you know the T-Rex could bite with over 12,000 pounds of force? That's like having a fully loaded double-decker bus balanced on your dinner. This bite force wasn't just about overpowering prey. It was a key adaptation that allowed the T-Rex to access the most nutritious parts of its meals. Bones, after all, are rich in marrow, a valuable source of energy. By crushing bones, the T-Rex could unlock a feast unavailable to less well-equipped predators. So, the next time you see an image of those fearsome jaws, remember, they're not just for show. Now, let's turn our attention to a dinosaur that often finds itself overshadowed by its larger, toothier cousins. The Velociraptor, made famous by its starring role in countless films, is often depicted as a scaly reptilian hunter. But what if I told you this portrayal is missing a crucial element? Recent discoveries have revealed a startling truth. The Velociraptor was actually covered in feathers. Yes, you heard that right, feathers. Not the sleek, aerodynamic feathers of modern birds, but more primitive plumage, closer in appearance to the downy coat of a young chick. This revelation has sent shockwaves through the paleontological community, forcing us to re-evaluate our understanding of these incredible creatures. It paints a picture of the Velociraptor as a far more bird-like animal than previously imagined. A creature that relied on speed, agility, and perhaps even rudimentary flight to chase down its prey. Feathers may have played a role in insulation, helping these dinosaurs regulate their body temperature. So the next time you envision a velociraptor, don't picture a cold, scaly reptile. Now, let's journey to the heart of what is now North America, where we encounter a true titan of the prehistoric world, the Triceratops. This magnificent herbivore, with its three iconic horns and massive frill, is instantly recognizable, a symbol of the late Cretaceous period. But the Triceratops was more than just a pretty face. Its most striking feature, that enormous skull, was a marvel of biological engineering. In fact, the Triceratops possessed one of the largest skulls of any land animal that ever lived, some specimens measuring over seven feet long. But this massive head wasn't just for show. It served a multitude of purposes, from defense to display, and perhaps even played a role in regulating body temperature. Those iconic horns, often exceeding three feet in length, were formidable weapons, capable of inflicting serious damage on even the fiercest predator. The bony frill, extending back from the skull like a shield, provided additional protection, shielding the Triceratops' vulnerable neck from attack. Scientists believe the frill may have also served as a display structure, used to attract mates or intimidate rivals. Our journey into the prehistoric world now takes us to a creature that has puzzled paleontologists for decades, the Stegosaurus. This iconic herbivore, with its distinctive plates running down its back and fearsome tail spikes, has captured the imagination of dinosaur enthusiasts for generations. But the Stegosaurus is more than just a collection of strange and wonderful features. It's a testament to the power of evolution a creature that adapted to its environment in truly unique and fascinating ways. Take, for instance, those famous plates. Their purpose has been the subject of much debate, with theories ranging from defense to thermoregulation. Some scientists believe the plates, which could grow up to two feet tall, served as a form of armor, protecting the Stegosaurus from attacks by predators. Others suggest that the plates may have played a role in regulating body temperature, acting as giant radiators to dissipate heat. But it's the Stegosaurus's tail that truly captures the imagination. Armed with four massive spikes, known as thagomizers, the Stegosaurus possessed a weapon of extraordinary power. These spikes, some measuring over three feet in length, could inflict devastating wounds, making the Stegosaurus a formidable opponent even for the largest predators. 
Prepare to be dwarfed, for our next encounter is with a true giant of the prehistoric world, the Brachiosaurus. This long-necked behemoth, one of the largest animals ever to walk the earth, could reach heights of over 40 feet, towering over the landscape like a four-legged skyscraper. Just imagine standing in the shadow of this magnificent creature. Its long neck held high in the air would have given it an unparalleled view of its surroundings, allowing it to scan the horizon for food or danger. But this incredible height came at a cost. The Brachiosaurus's immense size presented a unique set of challenges, particularly when it came to matters of the heart. To pump blood all the way up that long neck to its brain, the Brachiosaurus must have possessed a heart of extraordinary power and efficiency. Some scientists believe the Brachiosaurus may have had multiple hearts, working in tandem to circulate blood throughout its massive body. These gentle giants were likely slow-moving grazers, their long necks allowing them to reach high into the treetops to feast on leaves and branches that were inaccessible to other herbivores. Our final destination takes us to the waterways of prehistoric Africa, where we encounter a dinosaur that challenges our very definition of what it means to be a dinosaur. The Spinosaurus, with its massive sail-like spine and crocodile-like snout, was a creature of two worlds, equally at home on land and in the water. For years, the Spinosaurus was depicted as a terrestrial predator, stalking the land in search of prey. But recent discoveries have painted a very different picture, revealing a creature uniquely adapted for a semi-aquatic lifestyle. Its bones, denser than those of other theropods, suggest an animal that spent a significant amount of time in the water. Its long, narrow snout, armed with conical teeth, was perfectly suited for snaring fish, while its powerful tail, once thought to be a counterbalance for its large head, may have been used for propulsion in the water, much like the tail of a crocodile. But the Spinosaurus's most striking feature was undoubtedly its enormous sail-like spine. Some scientists believe the sail may have helped the Spinosaurus regulate its body temperature, acting as a giant radiator to dissipate heat. Others suggest that the sail may have been used for display, attracting mates or intimidating rivals. From the bone-crushing bite of the T-Rex to the feathered elegance of the Velociraptor, from the massive horns of the Triceratops to the aquatic adaptations of the Spinosaurus, we've journeyed through millions of years to uncover the secrets of these magnificent creatures. These discoveries remind us that the world of dinosaurs was a place of constant change and adaptation, a world where size and strength weren't always enough to guarantee survival. If you found these facts as awe-inspiring as I do, don't keep them to yourself. Share this video with your friends, family and fellow dinosaur enthusiasts. Who knows what other jaw-dropping discoveries await us as we continue to unearth the secrets of our planet's ancient inhabitants. So keep exploring, keep questioning, and never lose your sense of wonder for the prehistoric